Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number 5 of your assessment paper number 11. Now this question is a speed question, right? And um, this question, I love speed questions first of all, this question has three parts to it. So the first thing that most people will do is they'll like, oh Sai, this is so difficult. It has three parts of it. But actually if you think about it, when you have three parts to a question, it's actually easier why? Because if you take a look at this question later, the answers actually lead up to one another. In other words, part A will help you to find the answer to part B and part B will help you to find the answer to part C. So in fact, the question is guiding you to answer questions that uh, in a step-by-step -step manner. Alright, so let's move on to the question. Let's read the question first. It says that David and Michael drove from town A to town B at different speeds. Okay. Both did not change their speeds throughout their journeys. Very important point. Now, David started his journey 30 minutes earlier than Michael. However, Michael reached town B 50 minutes earlier than David. Okay, let's stop there. It's getting a bit overwhelming, isn't it? Alright, so let's draw our timeline first. Excuse me. Okay, let's draw our timeline first. This is town A and this is town B. And... Uh, where is Michael and David? I'm gonna use uh, black for Michael. So David started sorry, David started journey 30 minutes earlier than Michael. So I'm gonna use black for David, sorry. 30 minutes earlier. So David started 30 minutes earlier than, David, than Michael. So Michael would be here and he started 30 minutes earlier. So he has minus 30 minutes earlier than Michael, which started over. Okay, and um, uh, Michael reached town B 15 minutes earlier than David. So Michael reached 15 minutes earlier than David. So I'll put that as uh, minus 50. Okay, and Michael, David was to be here. So David minus 50 minutes will give me Michael's time. Okay, is that correct? Michael reached town. Yes, so that's correct. And uh, David minus 30 minutes will give me Michael's time. No, that should be plus. David plus 30 minutes because Michael started later. Alright, now we got that right. Next part, it says that uh, when Michael reached town B, David had travelled four-fifths of the journey and was 75 kilometers away from town B. Very, very important point. Okay, why? Because you take a look. Four-fifths means we divide the whole journey by five. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And they also told us that David had travelled 4 feet of the journey and was 75 kilometers away. So if you have travelled seven uh, 4 feet of the journey, that means that... What? That means that this is 75 kilometers. So 1 unit is equal to 75 kilometers. So to find the total distance, which was part A, what was the distance between A and B? A, you just simply take 75 times 3. A times 5. And that will give you... 375 kilometers okay so that's the first part of the answer we got that one so let's write it down okay part b it says that how many kilometers did david travel in one hour okay good question so how many kilometers did david travel in one hour if excuse me so for this all we have to understand is that uh, michael actually took what Michael actually uh, reached town B 15 minutes earlier than David. Which means that by the time that David reaches here, okay, by the time David reaches here, he will take 15 minutes to finish this up. And how long did he take? Uh, how, how was the distance that he took? It was actually 75 kilometers. Which means that if in 15 minutes he can actually cover 75 kilometers, what is his speed in 1 hour or 60 minutes? Very simple. First of all, you take 75 kilometers, you divide it by 60 minutes. Why? Because I want to find out how many kilometers can he cover in 1 minute. Okay, and then I multiply it by... Sorry, divide by 50. And then I multiply it by 60. So now what I get the answer is 75 divided by 50 times 60 will give me 90 kilometers 
per hour. In other words, 90 kilometers in one hour. So the question, the answer is, how many kilometers did, he, uh, did David travel in one hour? The answer is simple, 90 kilometers per hour. Now, what was the time taken by Michael to travel from town A to town B? Now, this question is a little tricky, okay, because you would try to find uh, Michael's, uh, uh, Michael's uh, time, but it's pretty much impossible to find it uh, if you're basing it only on Michael's uh, uh, statistics. That means uh, whatever facts that was given about Michael, you can't really make that out. But what you can do is you can actually use David's time. Okay, so David takes 50 minutes to travel these 75 kilometers. And since they told us that um, their speeds did not change throughout the journeys, that means that for every single part of this, he also took 50 minutes. So how much time did David take? David took exactly 50 minutes times 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's times 5. Times 5. Okay, because there are 5 parts to this. So you get 250 minutes. And how long did Michael take? Michael started a bit earlier, a bit later. So first of all, we have to minus 30 minutes. Okay? And then Michael also finished a bit earlier. So you have to minus a further 50 minutes. So 250 minus 30 minus 30, you will get the answer, which is 190 kilometers, which is not the answer. Wait, why did that go wrong? Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. 250 minus 30 minus 50, not minus 30 minus 30. So 250 minus 30 minus 50, which is 170. Now that is the answer. So the time taken is 170 minutes. Alright? <coughs> Excuse me. So Michael took 170 minutes. Sorry, for part C, I'm just going to write it here so that it becomes very, very obvious. C is 170 minutes. Now this question is tough. I'm going to give you uh, give that credit to you. This question is very, very tough. But again, like I said, if you are able to do your PSLE question beforehand, which you can, um, you can almost like uh, win an upper hand, right? You can actually get an advantage, which brings me to the quote of the week, which it says, <clears throat> just because a goalkeeper is standing in front of you, it doesn't mean you can't score. Same thing here. There is a goalkeeper, and there, it could be a very big goalkeeper in front of a small goal, but it doesn't mean you can't score. You can always, um, in this case, you can always practice on that goalkeeper, and you can always make sure that you find a way to put this, that ball behind him. Alright? So with that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy.